All right, this is a video on setting up Amazon S3 with um, Cloudberry um, software in order to have a good audio or file uh, storage system. So the first thing you're going to do is go to aws.amazon.com forward slash S3. As you see there, and you'll need to sign up for your S3 account. Um, so once you do that, you just have to. If you already have an Amazon account, um, you can just connect your existing Amazon account. So I'm not going to go through all that process since I already have an account. And then uh, once you have your Amazon S3 account, we're going to go to the account tab. And what we're going to need in a little bit is the security credentials um, down here so um, then the next thing you're gonna do is um, download install the Cloudberry software and here's the link um, in the document uh, to Cloudberry so you just go to cloudberrylab.com and uh, look for their free Amazon S3 Explorer uh, and uh, it's free software you can just download it and install it alright so once you've done that um, you're gonna run the Cloudberry software and you're gonna want to add your um, these back to default. You're going to add your new account. So you're going to go to File, Amazon S3 Accounts. Um, actually, I don't have that in the view of the recording. Let's get this in the view here. So this is Cloudberry. You're going to go to File, Amazon S3 Accounts. You'll add your new account. Um, when you do, it's going to ask for the display name and then the access key, which is um, this right here so you can highlight that and copy and paste that in and then your secret key so you gotta click show here that'll show the secret key can you highlight it right click copy paste that in uh, so that's all the settings you need there click OK and there's your uh, new S3 account so then what you can do here, you got two columns, you can go to this right column, select your S3 account, and um, I've got a bunch of buckets already. So buckets are just um, another way of saying folders. Uh, and you've got this icon here for new bucket. So you can click that, type in whatever name. So you have to try to uh, make it very unique. So um, it could be some initials um, something like that and then uh, when you click OK it'll create that bucket so then within those buckets are where um, the files are so at that point once you've got that set up you can just go to your um, computer find the file it could be a PDF file or mp3 um, or video file whatever it might be and um, go ahead and uh, upload it so here's a file I just drag it over to the folder I want to put it in and it will for instance this one's already there so it's gonna say do you want to override it yes and it'll start copying so down here at the bottom you've seen the status of how much longer it's going to take um, so it kind of shows you a queue so when you have multiple files it's going to queue up so then the other thing you want to do here this icon is for your ACL settings so if you haven't already done this you want to make sure and check the box under all users under the read column and check that box that's going to allow um, access to read that file uh, so that resets that and then you can get the link to the file and this is your web URL so if you click web URL um, that shows the full link to the file you can copy that to your clipboard and then you can copy then and paste that link into 
um, you know, as a web link somewhere. Um, if it's an audio file, um, that could be in your audio player um, that you're going to add that link um, wherever it might be. Uh, but that's it. That's basically the Amazon S3 and uh, Cloudberry Explorer to make it easy to transfer files um, over to uh, Cloudberry.